Welcome to Ames. This tool will help you manage your job applications and interviews. In this video, we'll focus on managing applications. Let's begin by selecting Advertisements from the menu at the top. We now have a list of all current advertisements on Econ Job Market, ordered by their closing date. Presently, the latest closing date is at the top, but we can change this by clicking on the Add Closes button, which will rearrange the list. If we were interested, we could also sort by the starting date or by the name of the organization. If we would like more information about a posting, we can hover our mouse over the listing that we're interested in and we'll see a detailed text of the ad. We can do the same if we were interested in more information about the organization. Now we've seen a few different ways that we can organize this list, but there are a lot of postings and we're not likely to be interested in all of them. We can narrow down our postings in two different ways. First, if I wanted to hide a particular posting, I can simply click on the circle on the right under the action menu. We can see that it's no longer included in our list of postings. We might be worried that we've removed a posting that we might want to reference later, but it's possible to restore any of these hidden postings. To do this, we change our perspective from All Open Except Hidden to All Open, and confirm our selection by clicking Go. We can see the hidden post, and we can adjust its hidden state. We can also choose to select postings as a favorite in a similar way, and limit our list to favorite posts. Notice we cannot hide a favorite bit post, but we can remove it as a favorite. Up to this point, we focused on adjusting individual postings, but this will only take us so far. Our second method will allow us to quickly filter a list of postings. Let's say we are interested in ads for assistant professors in macroeconomics. We can limit the search by selecting assistant professor under position types, and macroeconomics under the list of fields. We confirm our selections by hitting search, and we can see all of the matches below. If we would like more precision in our search, we can use the advanced option. Let's begin by clearing our old search. We can now select new advanced search. As you can see, there's a lot we can work with here, and we should start with a clear idea of what we're looking for. And so we begin by selecting the options that are most relevant. In this case, I'm going to expand my search to include both econometrics and macroeconomics, but I'll also add the any field so I can include postings where the recruiter doesn't have a preference for a field. I don't really want to go through all the countries I'd like to choose, but I'm happy with leaving it at English speaking, and so I'll use the button that's been assigned for that. Like the previous case, I'm interested in assistant professor positions, but now I can select the three position types that contain it, as well as postdoc if I'm interested. I could choose to limit ads after a certain date, but I'm fine with the default value, and so we'll leave it alone. We'll also return to notification frequency in a moment, but for now I'll add a label. Chances are this is the kind of search we'd like to run more than once, and so adding a label will ensure that we can go back to it without having to enter in all the parameters again. Clicking Save and Search, I can see the results just like in our previous examples. This list is fairly short, so we're likely to go through it in one session, but suppose I'd like to be informed of new ads that are posted that meet this criteria. We can go back to the advanced search, and in this case we're going to make an edit to our existing search. I'll start by changing the posting date because I've already reviewed ads up to today. Next, I'll select a notification frequency to determine how often I'll receive a notice. Now I won't need to return to the site unless I have something new to search for or if I'm notified of a new ad. This concludes the tutorial. In the next video, we will see how to schedule and manage interviews.